Good evening and welcome to your Citrus TV News Brief for Tuesday, March 17th. I'm Brooke Glatz and here are tonight's top stories. The Office of Residence Life is changing how students will be notified about their packages. Students will be notified via email about their package delivery and will receive reminder emails throughout the week until they pick them up. The electronic system is currently only being tried at Kimmel and Marion Halls, but is expected to expand to the other halls this year. And hundreds are celebrating St. Patrick's Day on Tipperary Hill. At midnight, the annual painting of the Roshad Shamrock took place under the green on top light on Tompkins Avenue and honored community members who passed away. This marked the beginning of today's celebrations, but this year a new celebration of a marriage proposal started it off. A man yelling jihad forced American Airlines flight to turn around. Upon leaving Dulles International Airport in Washington, the passenger began acting violently and ran towards the cockpit. Passengers were able to restrain the man and no weapons were found, but he was taken to the hospital for further evaluations. Israel elected its leader and leading parliamentary party today, but polls are still too close to call. The election pitted current Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's Likud party against the Zionist Union and Isaac Herzog. Follow Citrus TV News for the results. At the SA meeting last night, the Dean of Student Affairs announced that starting next year, all incoming students and current international students will be required to have health insurance. By September of 2016, the policy will be extended to all Syracuse students. For those who don't already have it, the university will offer a new insurance plan through the Aetna Student Health. That's all for your Citrus TV News Brief. Tune in for SA Today Live at 6. I'm Brooke Glass. Have a great night, Syracuse.